Canarca is a Lowell-based company who is taking a new approach to the traditional solar panel. Surprisingly, it adapts a familiar, time-tested technique. We have created a polymer photovoltaic ink. We're applying the material very much the same way that a, a traditional printing press applies ink to a substrate. They're dried just like uh, inks are dried in a magazine press. So it's very traditional in terms of the materials as well as the technologies that have been with us for, for, for many, many years. Using a modified printing press, Canarca creates a flexible solar panel called Power Plastic. We start with a, a Mylar plastic film and we coat several layers of material on that Mylar, uh, including a silver backplane. Uh, once this panel is completed, uh, bus wires, which are actually the electrical conductive wires, are put down on each side of the panel, and then it's sealed again on both the front and the back with, with the plastic material. Canarca's power plastic is a thin material that conducts electricity in a number of different environments not normally associated with solar power. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a small voltmeter registering that this yeah. piece of material is creating power. Yep. If I move it over to the window, it'll actually jump up, but by putting it on surfaces and allowing people to use this material, you don't have to think anymore about, gee, I need to charge this because I have to, it, by, by getting it close to the sun. Even if the material is, is put at a vertical angle, it's still collecting photons from as, as high as uh, 70 degrees off of the perpendicular of the surface, which uh, for many, many applications where uh, solar was never able to be used, now we can start to consider using it on, in a variety of new ways. While creating products that generate solar power, Canarca also looks at its environmental impact from manufacturing through the end of the panel's life. Everything about this material is recyclable from the plastic films that we use to the uh, silver inks on the back. This can be uh, through an electro electrolysis process removed and reclaimed. There are companies that actually do that uh, in the electronics industry. Canarca is envisioning a world where through partnerships with other companies, they can bring power anywhere. We have folks doing products like this, which is a product from a company called Noon Solar. Noon has uh, put a panel of our material in their bag, and that, that panel's tied to a small battery, and the battery uh, is charged up during the day or, or while there's light and uh, it enables them to carry their cell phone or their iPod and be able to charge that any time in any place. A simple act of stopping for a cup of coffee could recharge in more than one way. This vision has been realized by a company called Skyshades. What we've just uh, announced with them is what they call the Power Umbrella, which is a product that uh, uses 16 of these 7, 8 watt panels to collect energy into a, a bank of batteries that those batteries then provide laptop power, cell phone power, uh, lighting power, so in the evening if they have running LED lighting under the umbrella, uh, it was all created by power from the sun. Taking Canarca's process to the next level, power plastic can be modified to give windows a power punch. What we have is both a transparent electrode on one of the surfaces on the front and on the back a screen printed uh, silver electrode. So both energy coming uh, radiating from outside as well as radiating from uh, fluorescent lights or indoor lights can produce energy to provide power. As Canarca looks further into the future, new applications for their technology are becoming possible. At an early stage of development is a product called Power Fiber, which removes the panel from solar collection. Instead, they have created a special thread which can be woven and connected to form a new kind of power grid. So you can imagine, well, I don't have to wear solar panels on my jacket, but I could actually have the jacket itself host power. Uh, there's quite a lot of exciting opportunities that can come from that, for, from the wearables uh, side of, of the world for electronics to medical devices to military uh, devices, uh, sensors that could collect data about your environment, and on and on and on. So we're we will develop that, uh, it just won't be uh, next week, it'll be sometime in the future.